Good morning, everyone. It is time to spend some time in or around your home. Yes. And some people call this time of year their absolute mm -hmm. favorite time of year when the uh, the days aren't real warm, the nights are nice and cool, and you can really get out and enjoy it. Yeah, a lot of people, it might be the end of summer, so to speak, after mm -hmm. Labor Day weekend, but many people call it, you know, bonfire, pit oh, fire, yeah. or fireplace season. And that's why we're so excited to have you here, Chris Bump. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> but we said, on or with your home or around your home and and this is the time of year when a lot of people honestly uh, they will go outside more often yeah. now than they do in the summer because the bugs are down the bugs are down yeah. it's not as hot the humidity goes away yeah there's all kinds of great reasons to sit outside now and and if you've got one of the great table fire pits you light that guy off and sit around it and uh, now let's talk about that yeah. let's talk about the fire pits uh, like with a table setting mm -hmm. the warmth from the fire Pit. What kind of radius are we having here? Is it like this here, like this, this table here? Is that a good indication about what kind of radius you'll get heat from? Depends on the wind, obviously. Uh, the people who are downwind are going to get more warmth than the people right. who are upwind. Uh, but yeah, somewhere in that, uh, you know, five, six feet around it uh, will give off a nice cozy, uh, cozy glow. Well, okay. let's talk about the uh, quote unquote end of patio season. Although, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. many consider this the beginning because they want to be outside. How can you help us out with that if we're still looking to have those beautiful nights outside? I, I've got a lot of great selections still, and we've got uh, great prices on everything that we've got on hand. Uh, all of our current stuff is pre tariff, so we're, we're definitely uh, able to, to make some great deals. Yes. Uh, I've got uh, over 40 fire pit groups still on hand in the store. You do? Uh, yeah, a bunch of great dining groups on hand, so some neat stuff. If, uh, if folks are interested in, in making their outdoors all it can be that yet this fall, stop in and see us. Now, are the taller uh, you know, patio sets, are those still as popular as they were a couple years ago? Uh, especially if you've got a view off the deck. Uh, oh, so really? for folks who are uh, living on the lake or who are living on the golf course or have a nice uh, uh, wooded area behind the house, uh, there's a lot of times your deck rail is about yay high, right? Okay. Uh, so if you're sitting in a chair like we're sitting in now, you're looking straight into the deck rail. Where if I've got a, a nice tall patio grouping, something a it, point. Uh, I can see over the deck rail. Uh, and they do those in fire pits. I've got two or three of those with some great looking stuff uh, that uh, folks could have and, and really uh, uh, get a great, enjoy their view and, and get a great set. Utilize them. Now, the, we're, let's talk about these sets here because we're, we're coming toward the fall, obviously, and we know what comes after fall. Now, are these the type of units that we would have to bring in after the fall is over, or do you have things to cover them up for the winter? Yes, either yes way. And, yes uh, and yes. So uh, a, a lot yes. of folks will just bring the cushions in and then, and then leave the furniture out. Uh, the, it's designed for to be outside. It is outdoor yeah. furniture, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, perfectly fine for that. Uh, the, the woven uh, furniture like you see in there is a synthetic wicker, uh, so it's designed to be outside. Uh, the frames underneath are all going to be a powder coated aluminum, so you're looking at something that's going to be very corrosion resistant there. Uh, the cushions obviously don't like to get cold and wet. Uh, because they'll take, uh, they, they could take a lot longer to dry if they get frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't recommend that. We recommend you bring them in if it's going to be uh, below freezing. Uh, but uh, really beyond that, uh, if there's not if you, a lot of maintenance, is there? If you want to cover it, you're uh, by all means do so. You're going to keep the dirt and dust off of it. If you don't want to cover it, eh, that's fine too. Right. Ah, I love Good that. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so let's take a look at some other images of what is available right now if you still want to enjoy your patio. I'll tell you what we're looking at right now is one that's been real popular. We actually got this back in recently. Uh, it's a uh, arch sectional uh, or curved sectional, uh, and uh, I've got a, a great tropitone fire pit in front of this one. That's actually a North Cape group. Nice tall back, mm -hmm. uh, so even got, uh, over six footers can lean right back into that one. So you and have to I love that a little bit. It's uh, yes, the taller stuff is great for for for, for so if you come into the store thing. and you go where's chris <laughs> he's probably sitting on that okay uh, this one or one like it yes. <laughs> <laughs> i love it and i love those huge umbrellas too so whether you want to stay out of the sun whether you want to enjoy a fire pit you have everything covered with this furniture exactly and uh you, you can uh really enjoy the the spring summer fall uh and, and if it's early winter and it's uh, not that cold out you can by still all means. enjoy right, it but it is starting to get cool out and you have to realize that but uh you have inserts too fireplace 
size inserts, which are the top of the line. They are, and uh, we're, we're doing a lot more with uh, retrofits and removal and replacements uh, than we ever have before. Uh, so a lot of folks have the old wood-burning fireplaces right. that they either don't use or haven't used in uh, decades in some uh, situations. Uh, and coming in and removing the facing off of those and replacing that fireplace, or if they like what's on the facing, just doing a retrofit insert that fits back into the old fireplace uh, is, is super easy, generally a one, maybe one in a change day job, uh, and increases the usability, increases the value, uh, and definitely makes the area warmer. You can utilize that fireplace uh, as a heat source. Exactly. Uh, once you've got the retrofit insert into it, and we're looking at here, that's uh, uh, one of our retrofits. Uh, that's a uh, Escape Series unit from Heat and Glow uh, with one of the fancy forged doors on it. And those things are great for, for being able to take and convert that old fireplace into something that's going to be a, a huge heat producer for you uh, that will also be super easy to use. You push the button, fire comes on, you're ready to go to bed, you're ready to go to the gym, you're ready to go wherever. You push the button, the fire goes off. I love that classic look mm -hmm. as well. But even though we might not want to think of the colder temperatures that are around the corner, uh, especially when you're looking at the latest Farmer's Almanac, you do want to think ahead if you're looking to do one of these retrofits, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, plan ahead. Pl planning ahead is always a good idea. Uh, I'm not the best at it personally, but uh, <laughs> the uh, this is the time right. uh, because my guys can get out within uh, a week or so to get it and oh, put really? it in. Oh, uh, really? Well, know, that's amazing. I thought you were going to say a three to three weeks, four weeks. No, but that's, that's, it, that's awesome. It'll get worse. Uh, yeah. Uh, as know, it gets uh, colder, uh, yeah. As it gets colder, right. When, when we're sitting here around Thanksgiving, I'll be telling folks it's six, seven weeks. Yeah. Uh, get it now, then. Get it now yeah. because we can get it and get it done in a hurry. And it's a whole lot easier to do this stuff when the weather's nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my, my guys do work all year long, but at a certain point when you're crawling up on somebody's roof and there's snow and there's ice and the uh, sealants don't work as well to, to right. seal everything back up because they're freezing, uh, now everything works perfect. This is the ideal time. This is the best time. Absolutely. Right. And let's talk about that process because it can happen pretty quickly once you make that appointment. Uh, really, what, what we want you to do is to, if you're, you're thinking, yeah, this is something I, yeah. I really like to get into, uh, is to get some measurements off your fireplace. So okay. basically how wide it is, how tall it is, how deep it is, uh, and bring those into us. Uh, snap a couple pictures of the fireplace too, just on your phone's fine. And uh, we can look at the photographs and we can look at the dimensions. We, we do hundreds of these. So yours is not that unique. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, but they'll make it, it unique. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, 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 right, but I mean, it's not like we've never seen this before. Right. Uh, so we'll be able to look at the photographs, look at the dimensions, and show you what fireplace is going to be the best to go back, or what insert will be the best to go back right. into your fireplace. Love it. Uh, and then if you say, yeah, that looks like something we want to do, uh, we get one of the guys to come out to the house, we verify your dimensions, we get it all nailed down. Uh, a week or so later, my uh, installers are out, we're putting the new insert back into it, running our liners, running our gas lines, uh, and they're usually in and out of there in a day. And then Boom. you get to enjoy your fireplace. I love right. it. If you want to see it firsthand, where should they go? Uh, 109th and Douglas, or 10820 Douglas Avenue. Uh, we're basically halfway between Homemakers and the interstate off Douglas uh, of Nerbdale. Very right. easy to find. Can't miss it. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. Just take some dimensions, take some photos, they can come in, boom. You can have it done. Here's your way. options. We, we can show you what it's, and the nice part about our showroom is that I can burn it for you. Uh, you know, <laughs> you're, you're not looking at uh, at some picture on the internet and right. saying, well, maybe this looks like this. No, you're looking at the real, real thing. You can feel the heat. You can feel the heat. You can see the real fire. Uh, so there, there's something that you can't get online that way. And, and his shirt says he's a fire expert. It's it it does right say there. he's a fire expert, fire expert. But there's also a reason why they call it a superstore, because you are able to show him things like that and all the incredible patio furniture that is at amazing deals right now. So if you want to enjoy these beautiful temperatures, make sure you have the right furniture to go along with it. Thank you so much for Thanks joining us. I appreciate yeah. it, guys. Love this time of year.